Hello everybody, this is Charles and I'm back with another show of Choco King review. This time for GX46, Dai Gengar and Alban Saiter from the Super Robot War series. So I'm going to go through Dai Gengar first and I'm going to take this aside. So Dai Gengar uh, basically is a very cool robot, it's very very detailed. If you look at it, it's very very detailed from top to bottom all the way. It's very very extremely detailed, he has this uh, thruster like thingy. And uh, in terms of die cast content, the chest piece is die cast. Um, uh, the, the hands are totally plastic, legs, legs are like totally die cast. Yeah, with the exception of these red parts here. So, um, in terms of articulation wise, his head has a full motion. He, has, he does have accessories where you change the face, but I'm not going to do it here. Waist articulation, you can move it, and the torso wise chest, you can actually move. Uh, up and down. Uh, arms wise, full motion. The shoulder, yeah, this shoulder piece is a uh, die cast. Uh, quite a fair amount of articulation. You have clicky joints here. Uh, elbows can move quite a good joint. All clicky as well. Really cool, has very good articulation. Alright. So, yeah, this is really, really a cool piece. I love the articulation of this piece. It's really, really solid. Right. Uh, in terms of the leg articulation, it's a bit uh, special, or different. You look here at the bottom. It doesn't have front back motion. I mean, the legs uh, and the knees you can actually bend back and whatsoever. But in order to have front motion, you have to uh, lift this up. You got to twist and move the pin forward. Okay, move the pin slightly forward, and you got to bend the knee. You got to bend it this way. Yeah. So this is how you actually move the knee. So this is uh, different from the conventional Choco King uh, where there is a reason why you do this so we shall check it out later and now let me just move on to um, his buddy Alban Saiter Alban Saiter wise um, is a very hefty uh, robot as well um, his die cast contains mainly the lower legs as well this whole leg and the, the internal structure and I think the rest of it is mainly plastic so uh, in terms of articulation wise, it is very limited due to its uh, build, there's no waist articulation and its arms wise can move but because of this cape it does look uh, a bit restricted. So, uh, so arms wise, same, you have quite a fair bit of articulation, alright. Okay, just that it's limited because of the cape and uh, he can store his weapons at the back, this can actually transform into uh, his gun, alright, which I, uh, I'm not going to do it uh, in this review. So yeah, he does have these uh, very neat wheels as well. This very very nice rubber, hard rubber wheels is really really awesome. So this is really very detailed figure as well. If you look at the symbol here, it's really really detailed. I I can't imagine how how beautiful this is. And uh, accessories wise, it comes with uh, this this very beautiful stand whereby you can actually place all the uh, weapons and the spare fist. And you can see uh, Guy Gengar's spare face over here as well. So here's all the swords and everything of Guy Ganga. So in the next part of my video review, I'm gonna go through the transformation process where these two will combine. Whoops! These two will combine. All right. So, whoops. Okay. My bad. My bad. My bad. All right. Stand closer. These two will combine, and we'll see how awesome they look together.